Learning not to need certain outcomes is a huge game changer. I promise you, learning to enjoy life and not needing specific outcomes can change everything, you know. Learning to stop people pleasing, you know, if you have a bit of problems with people pleasing and trying needing everyone's validation and a little bit of insight on like your passions, like the things you want to do in life, like what can happen when you believe in it enough and you put enough energy into it and you just and you just have commitment and will. There's a there's a saying, it's where there's a will, there's a way. And that's all the things I want to get into today, guys. My name is Christian. It's nice to meet you guys if it's your first video. I'm doing another spirit upgrade this week. Um so I had everything I just went over is kind of just what I'm going to go through today. First off, I want to get to is just in learning to enjoy life without needing specific outcomes. This is a very weird uh, and obscure uh, reference, but it, it's it's the things I go through. I mean, sometimes when I well, when I get home, when I get done with some stuff, like I, I'll play my Xbox a little bit and I'll play, uh, I have this baseball game. I'm a huge baseball fan, I'm a huge Cubs fan. And I don't hate other teams. You can you can totally hate me for being a Cubs fan. That's totally fine. Um but I'm just a fan of the game in general. So, I mean, I play that baseball game. I have, like, the little road to the show thing. And I play on, like, the hardest difficulty. And I can, if I got myself, like, I'll, I find that when I'm up to, when I'm up to the, when I'm up to plate and to bat, it takes a lot of practice to get to the hardest difficulty on that game. you got to work your way up. And it can be a very stressful thing. This having 90, 99 mile per hour fastballs flying right by your face. It's like, I, it's, it's, if you, you get to this point where if you, when you start doing bad, you start losing confidence in yourself. And that's kind of what I wanted to explain to you guys. Like I, I've been trying to learn when I play that game, not because I sometimes like if I get down 0-2 and I'm swinging a fucking ball out of the zone, you know, that's way out. My guy's like flailing and falling over. I'm going to feel like crap. It stinks. Like I want to do good. And I, I, I feel like, I feel like the pitchers beat me in the game. I feel like the game has beat me at that point, you know? And I really kind of learned this insight from that. Like it's learning to enjoy the process I was going through. Like I was playing on the hardest difficulty. I've never even sniffed the playoffs or the championship. I was having a season where we were playing so, so well and that we had a chance. And anytime my mind really went to it, like I got really stressed out. When any any time my mind went to the final outcome, I got really really stressed out. Like it's like, oh, is this gonna happen? Is this gonna be the season? You know, what if it's not the season? Imagine how upset I'm gonna feel. You know, like am I gonna feel like crap? And kind of just learning to stop myself in that moment and say, just let just try to find a way to enjoy it. I got that from Abraham Hicks. She talked about like the NBA Finals or something like that, and she was talking about how. Her team wasn't in it, but when her team is in it, and when she's trying to watch, she gets all bent out of shape and stuff. She's she's talking like slow and steady, learning how to just learn to enjoy it step by step, just getting a little bit better and better, learning how to enjoy things. And that's kind of where I got that from. Like that really resonated with me when I was, and I ended up winning the championship. Like it was unbelievable. It feels like actually winning a World Series because how how hard that is to do. Like, and it just took me forever to do it, and I finally did it, and it felt great. But at the same time, like I wasn't at the same time, I was super grateful because of the season I had, like, because even through that whole season, I had to keep telling myself, man, I'm so grateful that we're even having this kind of season. It's really fun seeing like actually play well and see like the, my little computer teammates are doing really well. And it's like, man, that feels really awesome. Like, it feels really cool to have something like that, like. And really cool to have that kind of that kind of journey. And that's kind of what I want to explain to you guys, like just enjoying life and being on that journey and just like. It's like you know you have a place where you feel like you want to be and you have a play you have a, I, I, an idea of how things could be different and i think that's kind of blends perfectly into my next thing but the next one i'm talking about is just committing and having this will to do something like i it's not like i gave up on winning that championship you know i was just kind of i was just kind of just going with it it's like i knew i had that in the back of my mind that that's what i want to do but I'm going to kind of just enjoy the journey and choose because when I stepped up the plate to bat, like being freaked out and anxious, it causes me to make work, make worse decisions. When I'm in like the best state of mind possible for that situation, then I can get into a place where I can get into a groove. I'm going to go pick this up real quick. Pick this up right here. There we go. All right. Now, since, uh, what was I at? I was talking, okay, the the purpose, I'm going to I'm kind of transition a little forward here. What I wanted to get into is talking about how when you do, have, if you do have a passion or a purpose in life and this thing, it's not, you want things to be different in life, you can 
slowly start putting energy into stuff that you really like. Like maybe sometimes we feel so bogged down by our jobs that we start to stop seeing our true worth. We start to just see ourselves as that per like the person who works at this job or a cashier or whatever you do, a factory worker, you know, like you start to kind of see yourself as that. And it's once you've kind of been there for so long and you kind of do that every single day, it becomes your identity to a certain point or to, if to a degree, if you let your mind like stay there and without changing it. And you can, like I said in my past video, I was like learning how to start slowly putting energy into that and slowly putting energy into that into that passion every single day or as on a regular basis as much as you can the the universe can it's hard to explain i actually learned this from abraham but she talks about how if you have a will and you have a way actually i didn't learn this from abraham so i'm, so I'm sorry if you, if you have a will and there's a way like the universe can is sometimes it feels like a miracle because like it's it's like all the odds are against you and it's like you still believe in this you still believe that it can happen all these odds are against you and the second you start to learn how to enjoy the journey and start to realize that like when you put energy into things and when you go out and try to do something the universe almost like it magically removes the obstacles for you if you believe enough like if you actually truly have this belief in you and you just don't really entertain anything else it's okay to have fear it's okay to have doubts that's it's gonna happen like the whole point of like believing is having doubts and still believing that's the whole point of it. And that's kind of, that's a really big thing for me because that's, that was a big thing I had to get through. It's like, when am I, once like, when am I going to just start feeling confident one day? Like you, when's the day going to come when I finally heal all these things and then I feel good about everything. I, a day had not come, you know, and that I feel like going out, I feel like bravery is just doing things that you're scared to do and even though you're scared, you do it anyway. That's bravery, like that confidence. Like even though you don't feel confident, you feel insecure, you go out and do whatever it is you wanted to do anyway. That That's confidence. It's not just being, you can obviously build up, build that up to where you don't feel that as much anymore if you can get to the point where you're doing that on a regular basis. But that's what I wanted to get to. Like when you put energy enough into something, like it's almost like the universe works in this weird way where it will remove the obstacle if you stay committed and you stay believing it's almost like, or it find, almost finds you a better option than the one you were going for. You know, you just, that's what some of the best philosophers and the best people kind of figured out at some point. Like, if you just put enough energy and you have enough will, anything can really happen. Like, they say where there's a will, there's a way, anything's possible. That stuff, it's, it obviously it's cliche to say stuff like that, but it, in a way it is true. If you do truly believe in something, you send energy to it on a regular basis and start making yourself feel better. Like, Maybe the universe will pivot you. Maybe some, maybe a bunch of bad stuff will happen, and you'll pivot your entire path this way. You know, maybe that was maybe that was your path. Maybe that's maybe that could not possibly somehow open the door to something better in the future. It might not open the door to something better now, but sometimes the other stuff has to fall away, like the foundation. Sometimes the other stuff has to fall away in order for new stuff to rise up. And the last thing I want to get into, you guys, is like people pleasing. Honestly, I've been kind of experiencing a lot of that lately. I mean. You work on, we work on these things and then our patterns always feel like they come back. It always feels like, man, I felt so great. I was working on this and then it just came back heavily. I mean, it's going to keep on coming back sometimes. I mean, you, when you think a certain way your whole life, think it's going to constantly keep on coming back, you know, it's going to keep on constantly coming back, you know, you just got to live, live through it you know it's gonna it's, and, and just keep on working through it like it's like i said it's not an overnight change it's not something that's gonna happen instantly and you're gonna be instantly a different person yes you can change your actions yes you absolutely can but everything in this world is energetic and everything we you know it's everything we are it's just when you look at us under a microscope we're like moving insanely we're just vibrating in insanely fast motion the people who have that same People who it, it, the vibrations stick together. Like when you can really start to realize, you know, like I'm needing approval from people. Like I this that's just, this is my vibration. Like I'm needing the needing approvalness, and then that it, it constantly it, like brings more. It shows you more of what you're thinking. Because like I said, how perception everything in this world is really just how you're seeing it, and we kind of start to make sense of the world based on our perception. So how like someone could hate themselves and they go out into the world and then someone doesn't look at them and talk to them when they talk to them and it's like oh, okay this person hates me you know everyone hates me i hate myself everyone hates me and they keep talking about stuff like that 
I mean, it, it can get, you get to you start to kind of attract more of that into your world. So like when you're, I find you have a bit of bit a little bit of people pleasing and like needing validation from others. When you, if, when that kind of stuff kind of starts to come up and stuff, you know, don't be afraid. That's our vibration. You know, I'm learning to kind of just have an acceptance of it. You know, just not because I mean, it's obviously we're not where we want to be. Like since vibrationally, we 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 want this thing. We want things to be better. And it, the first step is really just a, almost like an addict, like having a problem. Like the first step into ever feeling better about yourself is just accepting and, you know, just kind of make peace with where you are. However it is, you can do that. Make peace with wherever you are and they kind of make an agreement with yourself. It's kind of what I did. Made an agreement to just not like physically, but like almost just automatically made this agreement to just work on it slowly and steadily every day and just get better and better and better. And, and it's, it's, it has come back and there's are, there are times when I get into that people pleasing mode, but at the same one, I can have this awareness now that you get to this point where you get better and better at having more and more awareness in that moment and you get better, and better at learning how to stop yourself. And that's kind of the big point that the big part of this last thing I want to get into is that stuff does come back. Sometimes it'll come back the next day. Sometimes you just, it's something you just got to work through and be aware of and don't sit there and try to change it because you're putting more focus on it. You just kind of accept where you are and there's going to, you're going to have good days and you're going to have days where it feels like crap and it, it's like, it really gets to you and you just got to work through it. Cause that's what we're all doing as humans. We're really just doing our best. And I hope, I helped you guys out in some way, shape, or form, any way I can. I really, really like helping you guys out. I really like making these videos. I like to just interact with you guys. I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, and namaste.